Hello, my name is Christian Ramirez. Um, during this semester, um, I served in three separate occasions um, in the Phoenix area for the Arizona um, Immigration Refugee um, Services. Um, I originally was introduced to this um, service back in middle school. Um, during that time, I was part of NGHS, so we were responsible for attending about 50 to 60 hours of service. So I would serve in um, different communities, part of it being the Immigration and Refugee Services. Um, but yeah, um, that's kind of how I got introduced to the idea or to the the, the services they had. Um, usually, what happens is they have obviously a lot of social workers that are coming in volunteer, um, and then they'll have like a volunteer department. Um, they kind of put up uh, would put posts out or stuff about uh, different dates that they would come out, and um, you can come kind of just you know maybe for thirty minutes, an hour, spend the day with um, you know a lot of these immigrants, kind of hear their stories, you know. Um, but yeah, luckily I had um, people that I knew growing up that um, actually have graduated with social work um, or like kind of like a, a criminology degrees and stuff like that. So they've worked within um, these boundaries and, and you know, they um, I had told them, hey, I needed to kind of get in and um, serve some time and um, kind of just understand uh, from their point of view. I was also kind of very interested. Um, so luckily I was able to get into a couple of um, dates. Um, the the challenges and I would say um, from uh, and the successes from what they've talked about um, essentially our job was to kind of go in um, my job specifically for the days I would win is I would go help and serve um, a lot of the immigrants like the the food um, they would have like a big catering line and um, they would have like salads different um, meats um, sides drinks and I would go out and kind of help out for a little while uh, maybe for about twenty five thirty minutes or so. And then from there, um, there would be a different assigned social workers and they would kind of go around to different tables of people um, and they would talk to them. Um, and a lot of times the, the, the immigrants down over here, um, they speak Spanish. Unfortunately, I don't speak. Um, so I would try to pair up with someone that did. Um, and from there, they would kind of share their story to that social worker that was bilingual. And then I could kind of hear back, you know, what the, their, some of their stories were. And it's kind of crazy to hear because a lot of the stories that they... Um, offered to me uh, during their time of talking, you know, back and forth is a lot of the stuff that we heard within the reading, um, which, you know, kind of correlates to, you know, just uh, um, a lot of the, the trauma that they had to deal with and are still dealing with um, over that time. And, you know, how uh, it never really goes away. But, um, you know, a lot of the social workers they were talking about, you know, they, they provide a lot of that help. You know, it's not just hey, we're going to give you food and we're going to give you clothing and we'll give you, you know, some some shelter here and there. It's like, no, it goes bigger than that. Um, and they try to find, you know, other small um, centers that kind of uh, prioritize um, people that can give them that talk, you know, different um, different uh, specialists that uh, help them out with the, uh, that trauma, that PTSD. And um, unfortunately, they, they built up, whether it was from their country or just the way they, they, they've had to travel into the United States, um, but it was, it was very, um, you know, at, at that age when I was younger, I didn't kind of pick up on all that, but now kind of going back and understanding, you know, wow, like this is really eye opening to hear. Um, it's, it, it's, it's incredible, but again, they, they just, they promote so well, um, and how to, um, kind of help out these, um, these immigrants, you know, from whatever problems they may have in their life. Um, and they're, they're, uh, they're volunteering their, um, their staff that helps reach out to people. It's, it, it's great. You know, they, um, they try to get, you know, certain kids that are obviously, obviously in college or, you know, middle school, whatever they may be and, um, different families that'll come in with their kids also. And, you know, just, just again, just for a little while, just to come maybe show their kids like, Hey, this is one life, you know, this life we're living, you know, it would be very fortunate for what we have. Um, but yeah, it's definitely eye opening, and it was, um, it was, a uh, definitely a successful time, you know, going to these, um, to, to these events, uh, over and over again. Yeah. Thank you.